guys, the Everything Guy E30 back here again and decided to make a modification to the exhaust. This is a little bit loud and I'm going to start it up so you guys can hear it and then um, show you guys the modification that I'm going to do. So, right now I've got the car jacked up. I'm not going to run it too long. exhaust right now it is just from downpipe or turbo downpipe and then straight back to a turbo muffler and you can hear it's a bit loud nice tone to it but a little bit too loud for my taste so uh, what I did is talk to my fabricator and he sold me one of these and now that I have a welder uh, he said that it's my job to do this because I was talking a lot of shit <laughs> said I don't need a fabricator anymore and basically what it is it's uh, a spinner a twister Here goes the box, and that's what it looks like on the inside. Basically, it's a piece of metal inside, and it's curled around. And what it does is it speeds up the air and also um, makes it quieter. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, install this right about here in this section because. Um, that's like the highest point that I have and there's pretty much the spacing where the original cats for the, the car for go. So what I'm going to do is um, just pull this clamp right here and back there there's that flange with the two bolts so I'm going to pull those two and then I'm going to fit this thing about here so it fits up in this little um, little valley pretty much and I'm gonna see if I can get it as close as possible forward so that it sits up as high as it can so it doesn't end up touching anything um, that I drive over because um, the front side of the exhaust or this piping is pretty much a little bit higher than the rear so I'm gonna go from up there um, set that up and the car should be a whole lot quieter for sleeper mode. Since I have the car up, I can um, also show you guys the suspension. Um, I got the power flex um, control arm bushings. Also got the front and rear um, Ireland engineering sway bars. Got my stainless steel brake lines. Same stock um, G240 transmission for now. Um, same stock rack and pinion uh we'll be looking into uh getting a z3 rack and pinion if i can find one and not spend a million dollars again the suspension h and r always sport springs um bilstein struts in the front and rear uh 373 lsd diff uh again the rear uh ireland engineering sway bar up there Okay, so now I got everything marked up, basically cutting to the inner lines and then the spinner will fit inside there. So here we have the spinner, or it's called twister. Basically, we're gonna cut the inner lines and this fits inside there. So you gotta cut it, clean it up, and then weld it. All right, so here's my Everlast 200 DV TIG welder. Got my Argon bottle. There we go. Number 26 torch. Got a little slab of uh, aluminum that I can use um, for my grounding. Got a little chair, just a small little basic setup for now, just because I haven't gotten everything set where I need it. 
So what I'm going to do is go ahead and tack this up and then uh, I can test fit this on the car and um, check it out. Okay, so as you guys can see, I got everything fitted up and it fits perfect. When it's um, actually fully installed, it's going to sit up a little bit higher, something about like that. But it's exactly where it needs to be and I can now go ahead and weld this thing up. So here's me getting this actually welded up. Um, came out pretty well for me actually just picking up a welder and um, starting to weld. Um, I had a little bit of trouble initially basically with like torch angle and stuff like that. Just the basic beginner newbie things that you end up messing up on. But for the most part I actually got it welded up and this part is actually on the car still today. So hasn't given me an issue. It was pretty good practice because um, my fabricator mainly works on exhaust piping and stuff like that. So I got a good amount of um, experience when we actually built the initial exhaust and the manifold. So being able to see that, that kind of gave me a little bit of um, insight on welding, basically. So that and, of course, YouTube and uh, I was pretty happy with the result for basically just picking this up and then having to actually start making things with it. So overall, it was a pretty cool and uh, fun little project that I ended up having to do on the car. It was a great little beginner project for something that I could do um, basically by myself. I didn't really need my fabricator for this. Like He could just basically give me tips and pointers on um, certain small little things and Basically, I was able to get it done and weld it up, and it's still holding strong till today. Okay, guys, so finally got it done. Don't mind that. As you can see, nice clean weld around both sides. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's now been reinstalled. And I can test the car, or start the car, and see how it sounds. Wow, huge difference. Cold start too. Much, much quieter. And that is awesome. How to make a grown man cry. This is why fathers are right. <laughs> What'd I tell you? Love you, pops. <laughs> If you have a father in your life and he's as smart as mine, you gotta listen to him. Look at him trying to play it off. I know you trying to ball your eyes out. Yeah, your son made you proud. Look at it. Right, I'll see you. <laughs> Nice and beautiful sound. The car is so much quieter. So happy. Guys, that is it for the video. Got it in. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep following the adventure. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. So here's just a little clip of me uh, doing a little practice on cast iron, just getting a feel for welding. And uh, well, it looks like my camera guy is passing out, so I guess that's the end of the video. <laughs>
Thanks for watching, guys.